Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, I know a lot of people that uh, got the V20 got it because they'd heard that it has HDMI out uh, via USB-C capability. For me, I travel a lot. You can see I'm in my hotel room here. Um, and it's things like Chromecast always require, uh, in order to cast from your phone, that you be on uh, a home network. And in a hotel, you don't have that. The Wi-Fi is closed. Um, doing mirror cast with things like um, the Fire Stick is okay, but depending on the TV that the hotel has, it may be laggy, um, and you're always stuck uh, for the sound. I like to use Bluetooth headphones to listen. I have some pretty high quality ones, and um, the sound never syncs up. So it comes to the TV, and when it comes to the phones, never syncs up. So it's very interested in doing um, the USB-C. Um, I saw on. XDA, somebody had ordered this particular HDMI uh, adapter and said that it worked pretty well, so I, I decided to give it a shot. Um, and it does work pretty well, so I just want to give a quick video uh, about my experience and what I found here. So, and I'm sorry, I'm shooting this on an iPhone, my work iPhone, because my beautiful camera on the V20 has to be uh, facing down. So, here is the adapter, and it's got the HDMI out. It's got a USB port, uh, USB 3.0 uh, for peripheral, and it has the USB-C charging port. So in theory, it's supposed to be able to uh, give a charge to your phone while it's in this USB-C mode here. So I'm going to plug it in. Sorry, it's hard to do this one-handed, but it just goes in the bottom. Now, the hotel I'm staying here at the uh, wonderful Crown Plaza, Lansing, Michigan, um, actually has a, uh, a Samsung TV, which is much nicer than most of the uh, garbage bottom end TVs that it has. So this this may not be your typical hotel display, but I'm going to assume at home you guys probably have nice uh, displays. And unfortunately, this does not have the wide angle, so I have to back up pretty far. So as you can see, it gives a pretty nice picture there. Um, when you're playing videos, it does a good job. And as you saw, there's nothing I had to do. Um, one thing that you will notice, and I can show it on the screen up here. Where is it? Power supply mode. If you turn it off of power supply and it switches to that automatically, no matter what you have set as your default, um, I have my default to be file storage, but uh, when you plug in this device, it goes straight to power supply. Um, I'm going to bring up my gallery here, and this is a video TV show I like called The Strain. Um, as you can see, it plays pretty well. The sound is coming through the TV. Uh, I better switch to the credits here before I get a DCMA takedown. Uh, it'll also show you that the when we see the text that it's it's pretty clear and that's gonna be a point when I show you something with Netflix in just a minute um, but the picture comes out nice and clean um, when you're viewing video files it actually does not show anything on your actual phone it just it automatically casts it to the TV uh, when you're doing Netflix it does uh, show it on both so that might be part of the problem um, as you'll see with the resolution that I saw uh, with Netflix um, What's also nice is obviously I can't demonstrate it here, but when I use my US, when I use my Bluetooth headphones, um, it does have Aptex. Um, it does sync up perfectly, so I don't have to worry uh, about. So I can use my nice Bluetooth headphones and watch it on the TV, and I don't have to worry about it. A cool thing that it has with this USB port is that I travel with a mouse, my Logitech, um, and I can just plug that in to the USB here. Yes, I had pizza for dinner. And once that plugs in, I now have, and I turn on the channel that it's supposed to be on. Ah, it's not working on the screen because I'm in the video. If I go back to my screen, I now have my mouse. So I can leave this thing sitting up here on the TV, and uh, you know, I can pull up a game or something like that, and I can do any of my videos or checks so if I come up here, I can now go down to Netflix and I'll show you what I saw with Netflix. So I think I have it queued up to Pirates of the Caribbean. Now, you may or may not be able to tell on this, but the video is, is a little bit grainy. Um, and what's weird is it's playing on my phone at the same time, and it's crystal clear down there. So I think there's something with the processing when it's showing both things. I didn't have that problem with my uh, with my video file, but when I'm watching Netflix, it's it's like it's stuck in low resolution mode, 
Um, and I think we can see that a little bit better uh, if we look at the text here. You can see that it's, you know, it's kind of blocky and pixelated as opposed to how clean it is. Whoops, if I can get it down here. Clean it is on here. If I focus, and this is not great because it's an iPhone. Well, forget that. Um, if I, unfortunately, I can't um, show what the Netflix looks like um, off my computer um, to see if it's if that's the issue. I do have a laptop here uh, because the hotel Wi-Fi is so slow that it gives me a, a view that's more pixelated than this. So that's kind of the whole point of me bringing this phone along. So there might be an issue with with something like Netflix that's using the screen at the same time, um, but video files for sure work well and just browsing your phone also works really well. So the other issue um, that there was um, had to do with the battery. So right now we can see that this is at 97%. Uh, I just had it charged here. And that battery drain uh, was somewhat of an issue. Now I've noticed that even though this has a USB charge port on it, um, I would still get some battery drain. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start playing a video here and I'm going to put it on time-lapse mode and we're going to just wait for five minutes. We're going to see how many percent it goes down um, when it's unplugged and how many percent it goes down when it's plugged over five minutes and uh, see if that makes a difference. So it looks like plugging it into the mains does seem to uh, stem the discharge. It's not perfect. It's still going to drain a little bit, but you'll, you'll get quite a bit more. Even though I have it plugged into the fast charger, um, I guess by the time this thing gets done processing the signal, it's not. Um, it's only feeding it like a normal slow charge. So with the screen on and outputting and, and all that. Um, now, this was the video that I was playing on the device. It was not Netflix, so I wasn't using the radio. So um, if, you're, if you're trying to stream something off the web, uh, it's probably going to drain a bit faster. So overall I think this is a, a pretty good device. It's it's very easy. You just plug and play. Um, and it is this one. There's a lot of different vendors that sell it on Amazon. Um, that's where I got it from. I paid 35 If you can get it cheaper, go for it. Um, other than that, I think uh, I think it's a there's there's some cables that are just simple cables. I think having uh, the charge port and then the convenience also of being able to uh, plug in a USB mouse. And if I had the keyboard with me, I could also do keyboard. You basically, you just leave this thing up on the TV, use the mouse and keyboard to navigate everything I need to, and I've got a little uh, home entertainment center off my phone. All right, guys, have fun with your V20s.